Welcome back to another episode of A Rusted Development. Two guys, two minutes, talk about rust. Now, we have talked about Armored Defender VCI Poly before, and you might be wondering, yeah, there's layers. Yeah, it has VCI in it. What's so special about that? Isn't all VCI the same? Exactly. Now, we are analogy guys here. We're not going to apologize for it. And today, we're going to make it nice and clean, nice and safe, and nice and easy for you to understand why you should be saving some cheddar with Armor Defender Films. Roll the intro. Roll it. Now, the story of Rust. And the two guys who talked about it in two minutes. It's a rusted development. All right, thanks for hanging in with us through the intro. Now we're gonna put two minutes on the clock as we always do. Three, two, one. <laughs> Have you ever been walking through the grocery aisle or simply thinking about cheese as I often do and you notice, wait a second, these different cheeses have different types of wrappers. This brie here, this mozzarella, or whatever this cheese is, all have different types of wrappers. And that is because specific applications call for specific packaging. Each packaging scenario requires a different packaging material. So just like how you wouldn't trust this ball of mozzarella to be wrapped in a wax, you also wouldn't trust a generic VCI poly to protect your metal parts when a better alternative exists. Now that generic bag might say four mil on it and it might measure at four mil, but PU Kelvin, who cut the cheese? Because guess what? It doesn't matter the film thickness if it's not built the right way. Let's take it out of the Frankenmuth cheese factory and into your factory and talk about Armors Defender film. It's a three layer film. The outside layer is a barrier layer only. It's a cost effective non VCI low density poly. The middle layer, now that's where we give the middle finger to oxygen and moisture. It tries to get in, but we say, and then the inside layer, that's where all the magic happens. That's the VCI layer. We pack it all in the inside where you need it most, closest to the metal part or the cheese. Now, why are we even talking about this? Well, it is because there are certain manufacturers out there who take a micrometer to a poly VCI bag and they associate the thickness of the bag with the quality of the bag in terms of protecting their metal part against rust. Now that is a misconception and we'll bring it back to the cheese to show you why. Hypothetically, let's say that all of these cheeses have the same thickness of packaging material. Well, you'll know that they're all different. We have soft cheeses, we have hard cheeses, dry cheeses, and wet cheeses. So just because this wax is the same thickness as this mozzarella covering doesn't mean that it's the right application for that product. Just like how a generic VCI poly mono film is not the best application for your metal part. Which is exactly why if you have a four mil generic film versus our four mil EQ Defender film, you can't even call them apples to apples or brie to mozzarella. It is completely different altogether. Armors Defender stands above the rest. The curds rise to the top, Kelvin. That's a good point, Chris. So if you're trying to save some cheddar on your VCI packaging materials, then look to Armor Defender. Reach out to us at info at armorvci.com because we are the cheesiest guys around in a good way. And we'll protect your metal parts all the way. We sure will. I'm Chris. And I'm Kelvin. And this has been Arrested Development. Two guys, two minutes. Talk about cheese. Stay cheesy, everyone.